Just to look at me in a crowd, you'd think I was perfectly normal. You'd never suspect that I'm addicted to the most awful habit-forming vice man falls prey to. I have a confession to make. I'm a jaywalker. It all started one day when I saw Charlie Hornswoggle on the other side of the street. Suddenly, I realized what I'd done. The blood raced through my veins. I felt tingly all over. I was a bad pedestrian. From that moment on, I was lost. Jaywalking became my hobby, my avocation, and finally, my whole life. My work suffered. I quit my job, withdrew my savings, and hung around the streets, waiting for heavy traffic. Experience brought the realization that successful jaywalking demands unwavering confidence. It was to be a war of nerves. I had to break down the driver's willpower. To do this, I adopted the popular dare you to hit me stroll. I would glare belligerently at the oncoming driver with a you so-and-so, don't you hit me expression. This worked fine, except some drivers refused to admit that my willpower was stronger than theirs. More successful was the graceful hop run. I began a quick little trot, then I gave a little hop, which showed the driver I was confident of his skill to stop. Whenever the driver realized he'd been dominated and lost his temper, I would grin good-naturedly and wave at him. This would clearly indicate to him that although he was in the driver's seat, I had the upper hand. However, it was sometimes advisable to test the driver's degree of confidence by using the wet toe retreat. Whenever the driver's reactions revealed that he was on to my technique, I found it paid to change my strategy, confusing him by acting confused myself. <laughs> a little chuckle of faint embarrassment seemed to restore the most shaken driver back to normalcy. At long last, I received official recognition of my achievements. This unexpected acclaim unnerved me momentarily. And I discovered that at the least sign of lack of confidence, the motorist gave no quarter. But, if one appeared to be completely oblivious to one's surroundings, the most persistent iron wheel driver would weaken. The judge reprimanded me, berated me, shamed me, and scolded me, and fined me too. In desperation, I went to a head doctor to help solve my problem. He advocated going with the crowd, crossing at the signal. I made a sincere effort, but found myself hanging back so I could make a last minute dash just as the lights changed. I finally realized I was a hopelessly confirmed jaywalker, so I became unbelievably cunning in my efforts to startle the motorists. My best was from out of the nowhere technique. So 
but there you are. My advice to you, if you're seriously considering jaywalking as a hobby, is not to attempt these advanced techniques, but to start on a quiet side street where there's no traffic. Look first one way, then the other. Once the street has been determined clear, remember, self-confidence is the keynote to successful jaywalking. If you haven't tried this, you haven't lived. Or I should say, if you haven't tried this, you're really living. Anybody knows that. Well, goodbye. I have to go now.